gosh, that tail, you guys. Oh, this is so freaking cute. I am so happy right now. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Planet Zoo adventure where I hope you guys are ready to put on your ranger hats and lace up those boots because we are going to be setting off into the brand new Red Wolf National Park or I should say the Redwood Red Wolf National Park based off of the Red Wolf Redwood National Park that we are building up in our zoo crafting series. We have now launched into the amazing new world of modern animals! Modded animals in Planet Zoo which have been coming out faster and faster and just blowing my mind with how amazing they are and when you know I was thinking about how are we going to start returning to Planet Zoo? How are we going to start enjoying our adventures together? Naming all of these animals after you guys? Learning more? Oh that's so cute! Oh my gosh that's so cute! And learning more about this amazing planet that we all share together. Well you know, Chips and I are actually getting ready to go on a trip to Yellowstone that we have had planned for well over a year, and we are so excited to go, and I wanted to make a zoo that was kind of based off of the animals that Yellowstone has. Unfortunately, I couldn't find those animals, not all of them that I really wanted, in the normal Planet Zoo expansion packs and DLC, but lo and behold, the modern community has been hard at work, and now we've got modern animals! Like the Easter Chipmunk, which is so freaking cute! Look, you guys! Oh, it has a big old pile of food right over here. Oh my gosh, and the white-tailed deer are about to mate. Look at these guys! Oh, this is so exciting. This is so exciting. Look at all of these new animals. These are actually the white-tailed deer, which a lot of you guys who live in the United States will be very familiar with because they are our most populous species of deer. You can find them all over the place. They're not the mule deer that you can find around Yellowstone, but they are ex in, like an absolutely excellent stand-in, I think. They're working on making us some more deer babies. Oh, look, and the guests have already come over here to see them. Good, good, good. So there's mod animal number two. And friends, as we go ahead and get ready to stroll through this brand new beautiful zoo, I hope you can go ahead and admire our towering red cedar trees, which are standing in for the redwood trees. Not yet added into Planet Zoo, but maybe one day, one day, those dreams can come true as well. And uh, welcome to the new zoo! I'm really, really, really excited to be here. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge to be able to make it grow and thrive and turn into the place that we really want. But I know that we're going to have a fantastic time Strolling under these can like canopies of these towering trees, wandering past all of the brand new and amazing animals we can add in, and of course, focusing on the most important part of the Redwood Red Wolf National Park, which has always been since its inception in zoo crafting and all the way up till now, trying to do our best by the one and the only Red Wolf. Look at these guys! Lanky! Very lanky compared to the gray wolf and the timber wolf. The red wolves are one of the rarest species of wolf in the entire world. They are actually native to the eastern part of the United States, so not Yellowstone. Even though um, getting them into our adventures was inspired by my excitement over the upcoming adventures that Chips and I will be going on to visit Yellowstone. But red wolves are so rare now. They really are a species that if we are going to step up and really protect some of the very unique predators that evolved over thousands and thousands of years to inhabit our world, we need to step up now and really start being very vocal about protecting. There are less than, I think, 160 as of the spring's count uh, left in the world and none left in the wild. The last female who was tried to, like, who they tried to release in the wild was actually killed in, I think it was July 2020. Uh, by a guy who was very adamant about not wanting wolves possibly competing with his turkey hunting. Uh, so take that as you will. But I just am so excited to be able to work with them again. I think that they are just an example of the beauty that people love about wolves. I also love how these guys are like, yep, so we're famous and this whole park is dedicated to us and we're going to do what predators do most of the day and sleep all day. <laughs> But because they are such a important and such a rare species, I thought we should spotlight them. And the challenge of the Red Wolf Redwood National Park is actually going to be doing our best to raise very healthy, very happy red wolves and building a beautiful, sprawling, gorgeous new national park 
in this amazingly lovely land using a lot of the new modded animals, which I'm pretty excited about. It's a humble beginnings right now, but we do have a bit of funding that we actually were able to pull in based off of our zoo crafting adventures. And we have quite a bit of conservation credits to start us off, but we're gonna try to do our best to run this just like our franchise zoos. However, you can't do franchise mode when you are using mods, just so you guys know. So this is actually not in franchise mode, it's sandbox, but we are going to give ourselves the challenge of actually trying to manage our finances and uh, keep all the guests happy and try to get ourselves 100 <gasps> 100 red wolves which are totally going to happen if we end up with a bunch of red wolf puppies what oh this is very exciting this is very very exciting indeed Anya's already pregnant? Oh my gosh, we just like don't even have any time to focus on things and Jinx is already expecting. All right, all right, with that amount of excitement already tossing itself in here, let me go ahead and give you guys a tour. I'm so excited about this place because I think it's going to be one of the prettiest zoos we have ever worked on. And as we unlock our challenges and achievements that we set out to do here, we are going to reward ourselves with statues and special events in our zoo crafting adventures as well. And we are going to make this a really beautiful, beautiful place to be. So thanks to some of the amazing workshop creations on the Steam Workshop, I've already been able to plunk down a whole bunch of beautiful buildings like the Lodge. Oh, many guests thinks that the tickets are underpriced, eh? Good, because I was watching that funding with a lot of nervousness. Let's go ahead and raise this up to 10 for adults, 7 for children. We're going to end up running this just like a normal franchise zoo, but we are going to have the modded animals, and we are going to give ourselves a lot of special challenges, which I enjoy. But we have a beautiful lodge where people will come and walk through to find themselves... Oh, this is very pretty. Under the canopy. Wah! I yoinked too hard. Sorry about that. Trying to do this dramatic intro and then I just like yeet you guys straight into the grasslands that will one day hopefully be filled with pronghorn, antelope, bison, more roaming deer, bighorn sheep. There we go. But the guests will find themselves under this glorious canopy and as they walk to see the rescued white-tailed deer that we have, they can stop over and admire the teeny tiny little chipmunks who frolic in this garden. Chipmunks being native basically everywhere, but I just like the idea that they're particularly well known over here. And as always, we have named the animals after some of you guys from our previous episodes. I pulled up the random comment generator, and now we have Agent Cat! The teensy tiny little chipmunk Agent Cat! Who's got the zoomies? Oh my goodness. And then Agent Cat actually has, let's see, her mate Oscar! So Oscar's hiding somewhere around here, and it may actually be underground, because to my shock, it looks like a minute ago there were actually like little dig spots that the chipmunks had dug up. So it looks like they can actually dig their way up. Oh, and this place is very, very dirty. We should go ahead and call a... where is my keeper? All right, keepers are already requested and on their way. So hopefully they'll clean that up soon. And apparently people think the chipmunks look bored. So we might give the chipmunks adorable little toys to play with soon. Then we have a information station right over here, manned by one of our wonderful patrons, photographer Zadavi. And we're gonna change this information station to, um, let's do postcard station. And this will be where you want to come if you want to see postcards. <gasps> and Anya's ready to give birth already? Anya! Oh my gosh! Here, let me smooth the grass down so we can possibly see the birth of these pups. Oh, we have a lot of work to do, guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait to launch ourselves into all sorts of challenges to see all of the animals thrive, to learn more about them. Oh, here we go. Anya, your red wolf pups are... Oh, here they come! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Are you done having your pups? Oh, she's done having her pups! Look at this, a gold star! Oh, you guys, we've already had our third red wolf! And the challenges that we're really going after here are to try to breed up 100 red wolves. That's going to be our first goal, is just to really help these guys become healthy and happy and watch as the pack population spreads. We need to get, give these guys like a really beautiful name. What do you guys think we should call them? They are by a beautiful lake. 
You can see we've got a lovely bridge that's arching next to the red wolves. You can see them from multiple angles, which I really, really love. And now we have a new little baby. All right, this is the red wolf ridge. There we go. And now we have actually got a new little baby. Mint, you actually need to be... There we go, red wolf number two. And let's go ahead and rename her. Oh, look at how cute she is, you guys. All right, let me pull up the random comment generator and grab another one of your guys' names. And this one's going to be Ash. Ash, welcome, welcome. You are an exceptionally healthy red wolf. And so this this little pup is going to be known as Ash 3 because we are a research facility around here, my friends. And we are going to be doing our best to try to teach people about the wonders of the natural world while raising at least 100 healthy, happy red wolves. And we're going to keep track of how many we have by giving each one a number whenever the babies are born. And that way, when we get to 100, my dream is that we'll be able to put a very special statue in zoo crafting that can just honor like the big challenge that we gave ourselves for the Red Wolf Ridge. Should we call them the Ridge Pack? I think the Ridge Pack might like work really well for them. And then we also are going to be keeping an eye on oh, our overpriced, oh, I guess just can't make up their minds. They probably think that because I have not yet provided them with enough food and other things. There we go. And we probably should start feeding them, but I'm just excited that we have the red wolves at the moment. And they've got the big giant den that people can see them in just fine. Good, good, good. Let's see. All right, hopefully, all right, fine. If you guys still think the tickets are overpriced, I'll lower them a little bit more. There we go. They probably would really prefer if we could get a bunch of food stations in here too. But I'm excited, you guys. This is going to be really fun. If you guys have some fun ideas of different challenges we could do, do let me know. I'm thinking, look at this area. We could establish timber wolf packs. We could bring in all sorts of unexpected things, like not only the, the buffalo and the bison that we want to have, like or the buffalo, I should say, that we want to have roaming around here, the proghorn antelopes, but we might even dig up some woolly mammoth bones and have to do something very interesting with that DNA since now we can use modded animals just saying but I like this section over here too these are our deer they are actually rescue deer who have been collected from car accidents and things like that deer who maybe have like a broken bone and just need an extra place to go and they look just really peaceful in here <gasps> what cat you didn't even let me know that you were pregnant and now we're going to have little chipmunk babies. Oh, geez. I'm going to need you guys leaving lots of comments so that we'll be able to provide tons and tons of freaking adorable names for our new baby chipmunks. Cat, are you really going to have some little chipmunk babies? Because that would be amazing. Oh my gosh, she had chipmunk babies. Like, they're over here. Cat, what? <laughs> so, she has had her babies. It looks like these babies, because they're modded, uh, are actually very large when they're born. But now, ironically, we have Agent Cat. And you guys, we just ended up with... Alright, let me see. Here's a sibling. Now we have... Uh, let's see, are they both, both boys? Siblings. No, this one is actually a female. Alright, give me just a second. We have Pink Kitty. Pink Kitty, welcome. I think that's hilarious that your name is actually the one that got pulled up right after <laughs> Agent Cat had babies. And then we have Kiwi. So welcome. So Kiwi is actually like the fourth chipmunk we've had. I just thought it would be fun to keep track of like how many of each animal we've ever had here at this wonderful facility, reaching five stars one day so that we can prove to everyone that, you know, wildlife are exceptionally important and that they should really care about the natural world. I think that that's, the, that's a very good thing. Also, I think people are getting a little thirsty, so let's put down a drinking fountain somewhere, maybe. All right, guest, drink stalls. Hmm, should I put in a whole shop? I mean, I guess we could put down a drink shop. We should be able to sneak that in without too much like trauma to everything. Hmm, maybe right over here? Um, let's see. There's a cat. Whoa! We could build, like, a whole cabin. What? Wow! Okay, we definitely want to think carefully about that. We don't have infinite money, after all. Um, there's Flamingo Cafe. What if we're just gonna do... Let's see. A little picnic place? Oh, that's cute. 
Wrong kind of uh, build. Well, actually, that, that picnic place could technically work out for us. I kind of like it, actually. Yeah! Why don't we have a picnic place over here, and then we can try to reintroduce some of the other animals, like more deer, or we could get some elk and things over here. And maybe, oh, then we could have a jeep tour. So people could go on a little jeep tour to see all the bison. And maybe we could start putting in some geysers, since Chips and I are going to be visiting Yellowstone soon. Oh, I love that idea. Oh, geez, this place is going to be huge, too. All right, we're going to need a new spot for, let's see, we'll sneak this in over here, right next to all of our deer. And then we're going to need to, whoops, all right, rotate, rotate, rotate. I actually think it's a really cute picnic pavilion to go kind of like up against where the deer are. And we'll do this. There we go. That's a lot of money. All right, all of you disappeared. Okay, because we need, we need some power. All right, let's get this fixed up, guys. Because I think this is actually going to work out really well for us. All right. Oh, I needed to put it a little bit lower. That's why. All right. Let's put that down. I can't believe I'm just like picking up this huge picnic pavilion. I thought we would go ahead and maybe start things off on a quieter note. But now I actually love the idea of just springing into putting down a whole bunch of... Let's see. How about this? And this. A whole bunch of the prog horns and the other animals. Good, good, good. And we want everybody... Just able to go ahead, travel between all of these places, and then can I just do like a gigantic grid? Well, that would do something. I mean, that would actually do something. I'm not. I'm a little surprised that that, <laughs> that actually helps out a lot. All right, and then let's see. It's a little messy, but usually my paths are. Hmm. Gosh, it's been so long since I've been in Planet Zoo. Ah, it's just chaos now. It's just chaos. All right, let's back it up a little. All right, how about right here, right here? Aha, there we go. So you just have to have a little bit more patience. That's a good motto in life. And then that didn't quite do what I was going for, so we'll try again. Mm, not quite. And, all right, that's fine. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, we should release some of the goats, or deer perhaps, to come on over. Clear all this grass away. Wow, this is actually a huge picnic pavilion. I think this will work out really well for our guest. And then maybe we can sneak some more, like, chipmunk spots. <gasps> what do you guys think? Should we just have a goal of having, like, tons and tons of adorable little chipmunk spots? Because that would be really cute, too. And then I actually blocked off this pathway. Because I didn't think we would be using this area anytime soon. Well, joke's on me. And we do have, like, another little chipmunk garden that we could put in right over there. I like it. All right. Let's keep moving. This right here. More or less lined up there. This lined up right here. And there we go! Nice! And now we just need to get a little bit of power over here. Uh, and oh, now we have to think the tickets are underpriced again. Get a bunch of workers. Alright, alright. We've got this, you guys. See? Now we're going to have a picnic with chipmunks. I am very pleased with this. Everything escalated a little bit quickly, but that's fine. <laughs> Sometimes it's just the way things go. All right, and now let's try. We want to really start getting in like the new world. Let's see. That didn't help at all. <laughs> Cosmic cow spot. Oh, here we go. And let's get ourselves Maybe one of these, like, New World Transformers at the back. Hmm. Or actually, let's try doing some more eco-friendly things. So, let's put in some... Let's put in some wind turbines back here. What do you guys say? I like that idea. We'll just have, like, a little, a little wind turbine sort of tucked back by the deer. Where it's not going to be bothering anybody. And we can have our staff come over and take care of it. 
Whoops. All right. Gonna have to move the wind turbine around a little bit, but that's fine. Gosh, it's been a long heckin' time since I have been here properly. But we're gonna do this. I'm very excited about the idea of coming up with lots... <gasps> the deer are gonna have fawns! Yes! I am so excited about the idea of coming up with lots of different challenges we can give ourselves, with watching as we try to help this place thrive without driving it, like, bankrupt because... <laughs> We've got a lot of staff that we need to go ahead and give a staff room to now. In fact, I should probably do that more or less next. Um, we also need to take care... Oh, apparently there was a pond over here at one point. And we should make this bigger so that more people have spots to go. But look at all the money people could be spending over here. Just think about it. It'll be glorious. They'll be able to come on in. Hopefully spend just a ton of money. We'll put in like a nice spot for people to come and have a picnic. We'll put in some nice spots for people to use the ATM machines that they adore so much. Oh, there's bathrooms back here. What? Oh, the guests are going to be so happy. Rule number one from all of those years ago in zoo crafting, or zoo tycoon, I should say. Always take care of their bladders. Very important when you're helping out your guests. And we'll come in and remove a bunch of the curbside rails later. Oh, nice. There we go. That'll be a good spot for everybody to be able to sit later. And then let's actually get a place for the staff to go ahead and rest. What's a cute little staff room that kind of matches the theme? Well, to be honest, <laughs> like this one kind of does and it has sort of like the little woodland theme to it. And it could just fit like right in here and then we'll just fill in the blanks with trees. All right. And I love making this kind of into a little meandering path. And we'll fill that in with flowers later. Alright. There we go. And then finally, we'll come down. Yay! Oh, look at our chipmunk! People love our chipmunk! I'm so happy! And then finally, we'll go ahead and come down and we will make a brand new work zone. Covering all of this spot right over here. And this is actually going to be the picnic plaza. There we are. All right, nice! Look, and guests are already coming up. This is excellent. All right, good. And now guests think that the tickets are underpriced again. People, make up your minds. There we go. We'll take good care of them. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I'm really excited to be leaping into our modded games for the first time. I, I'm really excited to go ahead and see what kind of challenges we might be able to give ourselves. How everything... Oh, look at all the deer. Oh, look at the fawns. Oh, look at the white-tailed deer fawn. Yes, this is so cute. And to just create something beautiful where we're able to celebrate all of these amazing animals, celebrate the world we share, and just dive in with some fun role-playing immersion and challenges. So if you guys have some fun challenges in mind, like do you think it'd be really fun to have more wolf packs? Maybe it would be really fun to try to get that gigantic herd of buffalo that we've always dreamed about up and going. Do please let me know. If you guys would like to see more modded animals, including that cough cough um, woolly mammoth that I happen to see, do please let me know. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!